Howdy and welcome back to another Bevy video. Today we're going to talk about an underutilized feature of Bevy, commands. We've all seen commands and we know the basics. They can be used to spawn entities and to insert resources into the app. Most of us also know that commands are run at sync points during the frame and aren't applied instantaneously. But I think it's more rare to know that you can create your own commands and the kind of power that they can give your app. The core trait we'll look at today is the command trait not to be confused with the command system parameter that you add to your system signatures. This trait is very simple, and we just need to create an apply function, which consumes self and gets mutable world access. The power here comes from the fact that we get mutable world access. This means that given commands into a system, we can actually change anything about the entire ECS world. This is incredibly powerful, but also kind of dangerous. A simple use of a command might be to simplify the spawning of a type of entity in your world that needs to access multiple assets resources. In my last tutorial, we did sprite animation, and creating one of these required modifying the image assets and the texture atlas assets. Patterns like this can add a lot of noise to all of your systems, and one way to solve this is to create a command. Within the command, you can use the world to get access to the assets resource you need and spawn your entity. Now, the big question on your mind is probably why we don't just use this for everything. Your entire game could just be systems to add commands. The problem here is that commands come with one major downside. They must be run by Bevy exclusively. Because you have raw mutable access to the entire ECS world, nothing else can be running in parallel as your commands run. This is also why commands are only applied at sync points. You should be very careful in using commands because it can really turn off many of the high performance parts of Bevy's design. So if it's so evil, then why am I giving the world this forbidden knowledge? And that answer is abstractions. As you build more complex Bevy games, you'll probably want to start making abstractions on top of Bevy's basic infrastructure. For example, I've recently been trying to write a general AI system for a side project. Here, I want to have a single function that an AI behavior can implement but I don't know what kinds of data that AI will need. I might need a query for the player's location, it might need to send a pathfinding request, and it might need to change its own material. So the problem is, I want to make something truly flexible here. Thankfully, commands give me that option. I can just provide the AI function commands along with its common needs, and in the worst case, the AI implementer can just create a custom command and get anything they need from the world and mutate it in any exotic way they need. You can also provide custom commands as part of your plugins. For the sprite sheet example, it might be nice to provide a command to spawn a sprite so that your end user doesn't need to know how to juggle all of your internal assets. You should also provide the option to do things in the more performant correct way, but a nice easy option is often great for helping people try out your plugin and get a prototype up quickly. So if you've made it this far, then you're ready for some truly cursed knowledge. At the bottom of the command stock, there's an impl for f, where f is any function that takes mutable world access. This means in practice you can find a closure inside a system with commands that can mutate the world however you see fit. Remember that this closure will run at the next sync point, but it's super easy to get world access this way at any time. Finally, working with the bevy world can be frustrating at times, and you'll often fight with the borrow checker. This isn't just a get-out-of-jail-free card for any hard problems you run into, and you really need to be aware of the trade-offs you're making. But this is a powerful tool to keep in mind and can open up a lot of interesting designs for your bevy games and plugins. As always, thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons. Please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.